had been uh, using medical marijuana for 17 years now. Uh, I use it because it resolves muscle spasms in my legs, which uh, allows me to uh, get around from point A to point B in my apartment every day. Uh, I'm, I'm able to park the, uh, the scooter at the front door and, uh, and then take care of myself from that point forward. So, I don't use the uh, scooter inside, I use handrails to get around. So it's very important because it allows me to live life, to uh, do those things that we all need to do, which is, you know, eat, get dressed, all those basics without any assistance. So, I've been doing this for a long time. I was uh, diagnosed uh, about 20 years ago when I lived in Hyannis. And uh, shortly thereafter, I relocated to Beacon Hill. I live on Bowden Street here. And I've lived here for about 18 years now. And uh, I've been securing, uh, accessing my uh, medical marijuana on the street and in back alleys. And uh, I, uh, quite frankly, it's very dangerous and it's very costly. And I've been doing that for 17, 18 years. So I, I am looking forward to a safe access in Boston uh, at uh, these dispensaries. And they had named two dispensaries in Boston. That, quite frankly, are very strong um, because they've done this before. They, they have experience. And uh, I was looking forward to uh, to doing business with those dispensaries. So uh, hopefully uh, um, access will be made available uh, in Boston sometime very soon. Um, the, um, the mayor, not the mayor, but the, uh, the city needs to, uh, to work with um, work with the Commonwealth, basically, and uh, help them implement this law, and uh, to, uh, to rely on feedback from patients, to rely on feedback from uh, communities and patients, so that uh, things can move forward here, and uh, we can do this in a very smooth fashion. Uh, in other states, uh, things have worked very well uh, with this kind of uh, community involvement, and um, actually the Department of Health and Human Services does quarterly audits. So with these audits, uh, hopefully the city can work with the Commonwealth to, uh, to achieve successful outcomes. So uh, we need safe access. We need the city to be involved. The patients need that, or this will not happen properly. This was uh, scheduled to uh, be implemented this summer. Um, we were expecting this venture to be open, but uh, Actually, progress uh, in January, when the 20, uh, 20 dispensaries were announced, um, progress has been sort of delayed from that point to now, uh, in that no progress has been made. So we are, uh, we are asking uh, the city to, uh, to help us implement this law, and uh, we're asking uh, Governor Patrick, we need his help, frankly, to, uh, to intervene here and to uh, direct the Department of Health and Human Services to issue um, the, you know, complete their verifications, which they had started a while ago, and uh, confirm their, their 20 choices of 35, and uh, to assign registrations now so that uh, maybe by the end of 2014, because it takes a while to get things going once they're confirmed, um, we'll have safe access finally for patients in Boston and the Commonwealth. So basically we're asking for uh, the Commonwealth to, uh, to proceed with this law, to implement this law, and to follow the will of the people, um, which is what they voted for. So uh, we're remaining optimistic, and we hope that this can be, uh, um, this can be finalized very, very soon. And, Dispensers can be uh, named and uh, they can move forward uh, with setting up their shops. So, thank you and uh, goodbye. <laughs>